You are really tweaking out. How long has it been since you've cut? Over a week. Ooh. Stevens, I have something for you if you're interested. Well, I'm interested. Uh, an NBC came in a while back. During his workup, I found an abdominal sarcoma. Since then, I've been following his recurrences, and uh, he came back today with his third one. Wondered if you could scrub in, if you feel ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. He's in pre-op. You know I need a surgery. And you know I don't play favorites. People have been afraid to work with Stevens. It's like she's going to break or something. It's not right. She's a good surgeon, and she has a way with patients and a light touch. You want nice? I could be nice to a dying husk. Yeah, not a light touch. Oh, I, I couldn't help but notice uh, you have no resident on your decompressive laminectomy. Well, today's your lucky day, because I'm available. Yay, right? Mm -hmm. I, I heard you were hardcore into cardio. I can be hardcore into anything you want. Are you whoring yourself out for surgeries? Oh, shut up. You forced me into it. <laughs> Worse than I thought. Scarring has completely fused his organs together. God, it looks like somebody poured a bottle of glue down there. How do we fix it? We don't. If we could just get to the cancer, I think we could get clean margins. With this many adhesions, the risk of tumor rupture, it's too high. We cut into him again. We're doing more harm than good. But maybe if we just... We had to know when to say when. I'm saying when. Sorry, but there's got to be something else you can do. He's 31. We just bought a condo together. We just rescued a puppy. Yeah, it's, and... yeah, it's gonna be okay. No, it's not. They're just sending you home to... What kind of doctors are you? You're supposed to do something. I'm doing everything they can. All right, look, Dr. Hunt's giving us extra time. Time that we never would have had. Dr. Hunt, can I... We could try cytoreductive surgery. It won't work. We have to be able to remove the entire tumor. And with these kind of adhesions, you can't do Okay, then what about ball-tipped electrosurgery? It could help us get around the adhesions. This cancer is incurable. Now, I'm not going to put that man through another excruciatingly painful surgery when he's got a survival rate of 13%. I had five. Stevens. I had a 5% chance of survival. I have incurable cancer, but I am living with it. And the only reason I am, the only reason I'm standing here right now is because no one ever said to me, we've done everything we can do. I'm alive right now because people fought for me. Christina fought for me. He deserves the chance to fight. If he doesn't want it, fine, I will shut up. But he deserves a chance. So before intercourse, he squeezes the pump in his scrotum. Ooh. And? Oh. oh. And his age doesn't make it high risk? Oh, well, I mean, there's, there's always risk involved. But this is the most technologically advanced solution to his problem. Uh, what's high risk? Does someone have a risky high-tech surgery? Uh, Christina, I don't think you want it. Uh, I think this would be a real challenge for Dr. Yang. Do you think she can handle it? Oh, I can handle it. I don't think she can handle it. No, I can handle it. Perhaps in 2083. Thank you, Dr. Sloan. I'm gonna pay for that later, but it was kind of worth it. <laughs> Make sure you keep the bowel covered. I need more wet laps. BP's dropping out. They had a couple months and we just took that away. I'm sorry, it's my fault. No, it's my fault. It was my call and it was the wrong call. I was wrong and I should have known better. I should have. I should have taught better. And you know, you see the one in a million and you want to believe. 
I was wrong to do the surgery. I was wrong to put you on this case. You weren't ready. You weren't ready to be here. You beat the odds, Stevens. You were that one in a million. But you cannot be a doctor and a patient in here. You have to choose. <laughs>